The Blight Film Festival is a 10-day celebration of independent film from around the world. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Checkle is in Beloit this morning with a preview. Good morning, Eden. Good morning, Adam. It certainly is an exciting time here in Beloit. The Beloit International Film Festival is underway, and I've got two people who will be taking part in all the festivities. I've got Adam, who's one of the uh, one of the directors. Good morning. Good morning. And I have Kristen, who's a filmmaker. Hi. Hi. All right. So this is obviously an exciting time here, but what? And it's been going on for 11 years. But what can people expect this year? What's different this year? Well, this year we have an affiliation agreement with the Hollywood Film Festival in Los Angeles, and I think that that's really, really amped up the quality of our films this year. And yeah. Now, what goes into setting something like this up? I mean, months of preparation, I'm assuming. Oh, absolutely. We started preparation for this festival right after the last one ended. And a month after that, we were already uh, getting submissions in for films and reviewing films and having our pre-screeners watch films. And uh, we have this multifaceted process for all of our submissions and then all of the other planning with the venues going into it as well. And you've got filmmakers really coming from all over the world. What countries? Uh, the farthest away is Spain. That's pretty exciting. Okay, now Kristen, you are, you created a movie called Clarence, and you're from Milwaukee. So what does it mean to be able to showcase your film right here in your home state of Wisconsin? It's great. So I screened at the Wisconsin Film Festival and the Milwaukee <laughs> Film Festival. So Beloit is the third local festival, but all the people from this area get to see it, which they probably will not have in Milwaukee and Madison. So it's great for more people to be able to see it. Very exciting. And of course, I mean, uh, I mean, what does it mean to you to be able to, I mean, what are you going to do when people come by here and watch your movie? It's tonight, right at five o'clock. What's that going to be like? Are you nervous? Uh, I always get a little nervous, so I like to watch the film with the audience, <laughs> make sure I remember everything, what it's about. <laughs> and for people who are unfamiliar with uh, your documentary, Clarence, give us a quick summary. So it's on an 85-year-old African-American World War II vet who decides to go back to college to get his bachelor's degree. And we don't know if he graduates or not. You're going to have to come and see it to find <laughs> out. And what's interesting is it took you 10 years to put this film together. Obviously, technology changes. Was that a challenge within the span of 10 years, putting this together? Not putting it together, but the aftermath was a challenge because everything is HD now, so it has to be upgraded and upconverted and all of that. But the actual filmmaking process was the same as it would be now. Awesome. Well, thank you both. Again, it's an exciting time here. Starts today. It's a 10-day long festival. Wraps up on the 28th. For those of you interested, come on down to Beloit and check out all these different films. Over 100 filmmakers will be here. Adam? Morning in Beloit. Thanks, Eden. Appreciate your time.